was once just a field full of corn and apple trees became what we see today. It started as a vision and a dream, a place for people to learn and grow. I'm Kevin Knezvik, and this is the history of Hilbert College. Let's start with the story of Mother Colette, of which Hilbert College was named for. Born Agnes of Toria on October 29, 1865, to Hugo von Hilbert and Adele Anna Semenesco, Agnes of Toria was the couple's third daughter. She was christened on November 26 in a church called the Roman Catholic Church of the Holy Spirit in Obel. She had two older sisters named Amelia and Marianne. Shortly after the birth of their third daughter, Adele became sick and died at the young age of 25. Agnes was identical to her both in physical appearance and faith. Mother Colette Hilbert started the Franciscan Sisters of St. Joseph, where she was the head nun. Hilbert College is based on Franciscan values that the sisters practice every day. In 1932, Mother Colette Hilbert arrived in Hamburg, making October 29th the homecoming of the foundress. Hilbert College was founded by Sister Edwina Bogle in 1957. It was first called the Immaculata College before it became Hilbert in 1969. In 1970, it expanded into a two-year junior college and later became what we see today. Sister Edwina Bogle founded Hilbert in 1957. She was a woman with a vision and dreamed of an education for the Sisters of St. Joseph. Before they entered the ministry and made it come true, Sister Edwina Bogle was a president of Hilbert from 1957 to 1974. The college was originally founded for the members of the Franciscan Sisters of St. Joseph. The school was to help educate the sisters to serve other ministries. She reached her goal of being able to send men and women to achieve opportunities at Hilbert. She inspired many and was focused on the future of what Hilbert would become. Due to her efforts, graduates are able to reflect on Franciscan values wherever they are in their community. She started the vision that Sister Emunette Pachesny would continue over the years. Sister Emunette Pachesny was president at Hilbert College for 32 years before she stepped down in 2006. She is known as the heart of Hilbert and the force behind Hilbert. Her dedication and determination has made Hilbert College what it is today, although one may not know. Her humility keeps her focus on Hilbert and the students. What I'm doing here is continuing the Franciscan presence on campus. I'm the only sister here. When I first started, there were 18 sisters who taught and staffed the offices, and now I'm here alone. So I'm hoping that in some way, by the contacts that I make with faculty and with students, that I'm giving them a little bit of a glimpse of who St. Francis was and who relates well with them, who's concerned about them. All of you students, you've, you've, been, you've been my favorite. You've added a lot to my life. The students here, I think, are very, on the whole, very gracious. I think they're, very, they're here for a purpose. I just love you all, and, and so uh, having the opportunity to relate with you makes me happy, and so you're my favorites. The Grotto is part of the Franciscan Sisters of St. Joseph, original mother house in Hamburg. That was built in the early 30s and 40s. So they built it up, it's for anybody who might be familiar with Lourdes and Our Lady of Lourdes. It's supposed to be a facsimile of the Grotto to Our Lady of Lourdes, a place for people to, to find quiet. I don't know if any students ever go there for quiet. That's what it's been for the sisters, a time, a place for quiet, for prayer, for reflection. As I said, I hope some students have taken advantage of it. So I just try to be available. I'm available here in my office, and of course, I walk around campus because I think that's extremely important. Hilbert College started as a convent and later added more buildings to the campus. The campus center and the residence hall were built in 1967. The campus center serves as a student union, while the resident hall houses students. Bogle Hall was named for the sister Mary Edwina Bogle. It holds classrooms, offices, bathrooms, a lecture hall, a chapel, and other rooms on the first floor. It was built in 1968. McGrath Library was constructed in 1967 and built in 1968. It has two floors with two large reading areas, a conference room, a workroom, and other special workrooms. The Creation Center was built in 1978. It holds a gymnasium, locker and training room, an office area, a snack bar, and a maintenance storage area. Pachesney Hall and William E. Swan Auditorium were built in 2006. 
They were named for Sister Amnuna Pachesny and William E. Swan. The apartments were constructed in 2003 and are used to house students. Franciscan Hall is a new student services center. It was completed in September of 1997. It is designed so that every room has a view. The idea was to be able to give a brief tour of the school from inside the building. A major objective for the designers was to provide a panoramic view of the college's natural beauty. Cynthia Zane is the current president of Hilbert College. She is the third president of Hilbert since its opening in 1957. She continues to enforce the values and mission of Hilbert College today. She makes sure Hilbert stays a place where students are able to uncover their potential. Hilbert is enjoying a very prosperous time in its uh, history. The enrollment is at record levels in terms of number of full-time students. We're seeing a much more diverse enrollment. Students get individual attention. Uh, students, for example, when the first year experience learn about the Catholic and Franciscan traditions here at Hilbert. There's a variety of research studies that indicate about only 30% of student learning during your four years of college occurs in the classroom and about 70% of student learning occurs outside of the classroom. So we're looking at spaces around the campus where students can engage in a more informal level with each other, particularly for our commuter students, but also engage with faculty and staff. Students will likely be more successful during their college journey. And I think that laser-like focus, the embracing of those strategies that resulted in the first year experience, uh, the Title III grant, all those initiatives I think are very exciting and have made Hilbert a different place. A Franciscan Catholic four-year college, Hilbert offers 13 bachelor level programs as well as over 20 student organizations. After looking back, we realized how much this campus has grown and evolved with the assistance of Cynthia Zane and Sister Edmina. They give our college high hopes. From cornfields to a dream realized, Hilbert College has made many great strides in expansion and development. Based on the traditions of St. Francis, Hilbert will continue to grow in the years to come. I hope you enjoyed this look back at Hilbert and will be part of us moving forward. Thank you.